Oh yeah, I'm Average Dad and we're here in Anaheim. Today, we're checking out the packing house. This is our first time here. Enough talking, let's go grub. So I just talked to security and because of my camera and microphone, I can't film on this camera, but they said that I am able to film on their phone. So let's go into the iPhone mode. All right, now we are in the iPhone mode. Let's go inside. Here we go, first time inside. And look at this place, dude. This place is amazing. I don't know what else I was expecting, but I was not expecting this. I don't know why we did not come here a lot sooner. So this is the map area of all the foods here. It's around 11 o'clock. There are some establishments that are not open right now, but let's go ahead and walk around, see what is open, maybe grab some foods. So first up right here is black sheep. It looks like a grilled cheese bar. Here's some of the items that they have here. They have a garden goat, marble bread, goat cheese, caramelized onions. That sounds really, really good, dude. We're probably gonna have to definitely check this out. But this place looks open right over here. And it looks like a Paris parfait, dude. What? Let's see what they have here. I think we just found our first place to eat. It's gonna be right here. Look at this menu. Just look how much they have on their menu, man. Like they got some crepes right over here. I don't know, we might grab a crepe. They got a bunch of sandwiches, but look at these. Those look amazing. I think for sure we're gonna have to try to grab one of those croissants. Check out all these other desserts they got, dude. They got a creme brulee. Check out this chocolate mousse. Look at all these right here, too, dude. That looks so delicious. Get you guys a closer view of the croissants. We ended up grabbing this chocolate croissant right here. But look at the buttery crust on that one. And look how good that croissant looks. I'm excited to be eating this food. If you guys have been to the packing house, go ahead and comment down below your favorite places to eat and where we should eat next time we're here. But right next to me is this cool Ford tractor. I'm loving it. Get inside here, look at the inside of it. This is pretty awesome, man. I'm really liking the packing house. You got some ramen sushi over here. It looks like we have some Indian cuisine over here. And you got a market right here. Here are the two items we got. On the left is gonna be the frutella. As you can see right in there, bro, we got some banana, you got strawberry, and you got Nutella. And right here is the chocolate croissant with almonds on top, dude. I think we're gonna start with this one first. You got a big piece. Bro. This was insanely good. The fruit in here is very fresh. And what I like is they hand make every single one of them. You can't get fresher than this. And you know what's the best part? This right here was only $8.50 compared to, well, you know, 13 bucks somewhere else. Seriously, man, look how much banana and strawberry is in there. And they don't chintz it, dude, on the Nutella. This Frutella is getting an easy three out of three, and I highly recommend you try Le Pefe Paris when you're here at the packing house. I can't wait to come back here and get some more crepes. But now, let's go ahead and try this chocolate croissant. Wow. This chocolate almond croissant was amazing. This top right here had this nice crunch to it. And when you get in the center, look at that filling right there, dude. I think that's almond paste. I don't know what that is, dude, but this is heavenly. What is really awesome is they asked if we wanted this warmed up and we said yes. And that's what makes this croissant 10 times better. This is getting a solid three out of three. And I would just like to thank the worker for giving us some macaron samples. They have a Nutella macaron that we're about to try right now. <laughs> that Nutella macaron was delightful. The macaron itself was nice and airy. And then you get that punch of Nutella in your mouth. 
that's getting a three out of three too. So far, the packing house is amazing, but we finished this food. Let's go ahead and walk around, check some more of the stuff out, and maybe get one more item. So there is a bottom section. Let's walk this way and see what else is over here. Got a poke place. Oh, what is this? Mini Monster Cafe. Okay, so they got some boba, some Thai tea here. Oh, dude, I smell some fish. What? A chippy's fish and grill. Dude, I am a sucker for some fish and chips. Look at some of the items, the fish only. They got jumbo shrimps. Dude, I think we might have to get something here too. Look, they got garlic chips too. We'll come back to Happy Chips in a second. We want to see what else is around here. So this looks like a popular place. A white elephant. Looks like they have some good food, some shrimp, some pork. Well, look at this place, dude. This place is called Georgia's, and apparently this is some good old Southern food. Now, if you guys know, I did live in Alabama for 12 years, so I am really familiar with a lot of this food, dude. They got some fried catfish here. Man, I'm for sure gonna have to try this another time. Down at this end, it looks like they have a hands ham homemade ice cream truck. Got some homemade cones. They're not open right now, but here are some of the flavors. You got peanut butter, mint chip, a wild mountain blueberry, coconut pineapple. We'll for sure come back to try this. And those are some of the prices here. You got one scoop for 475, double scoop for 675. They're different Sundays, dude. This place is awesome. In fact, is this way. Look, got a place called Pie Hole. Got some interesting pies. They got a cereal pie there, a mom's apple crumble pie. Look at the chunks of apple that are in there, dude. First impressions, I am loving the vibe of this whole place. We did grab a fish and shrimp combo, man. We gotta check this out. Like, honestly, man, look how crunchy the fish and the shrimp look, man. That's cooked to perfection. Look how golden brown the outside is. Let's get some of that lemon on there. Dip it in some of the sauce. Ooh. Oh man. This is seriously good. All honesty, hands down, this is the best fish and chips that I have ever had. Now prior to this, the other best fish and chips that I had was when I was younger and we were in Morro Bay. Ever since then, I've been looking for that perfect fish and chip. This is it, dude. The fish in here is nice and flaky and the crust on the outside has a gnarly crunch. This fish and chips right here is getting a solid three out of three. Now for the jumbo shrimp, and just look how jumbo this shrimp is. Last time I had shrimp that fresh is back when I was commercial fishing in Alaska when I was 19, dude. The fresh was fish too. The fresh, the fresh. The fish was fresh too. I'm excited to come back here and trying the other items that they have here at the Chippy Fish and Grill. So we'll come back to eat some food downstairs later on. We're just coming down here to see what's around. It's starting to get busy. People are starting to eat around here. Look, you got a faux place right here that looks pretty good. Got some house special faux, some sausage noodles. Now this is where I heard that you have to eat. It's the Croft Comfort Food. Look at that. They got some braised poutine. I heard they got some really good poutine items here. Looks like they got crepe items in over there, but that's not open at the moment. Well, that's going to be it for us today at the Packing House, man. So thank you to every single one of you guys for coming out and hanging out with us today for this Let's Grub video. Now, we cannot do this without every single one of you guys, man. We really appreciate every single one of you guys' support. And if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and go down below, bro, and subscribe because we'd love to have you on future adventures. You guys have a great day, and we will catch you next video. Deuces!